We talked about your previous experiences and what happens when the cash flow dries up, as you've experienced before from a business standpoint. COVID hit the world stage in, in 2020. And so to, to, to carry forward what, what we just discussed, how do you get business owners to get away from the short-term thinking into more strategic long-term thinking? And um, how is strategy like a poker game? So I know those are two uh, different questions, but if we can tie them together, maybe that'd be great. Yeah, they, they actually do tie together really well. Um, you know, you and I talked about that a little bit about the poker. So I like this metaphor of poker because it's not pure gambling in, a tradi- in, a, in the sense people normally think of gambling, right? Like poker is a game of skill that has chance baked into it. And that's very much like business, right? Business is a game of skill, but there's uncertainty, there's probabilities. So in poker, a rookie might win a given hand, but a professional will always win the game. And so when you say, how do, how do you get people focusing on the long term? That's kind of how, like, what's the game you're trying to win? You're not trying to win the hand. When you're focused on the short term, you're trying to win the hand, right? When, you, when you're focusing on the long term, you're trying to win the game. And so to get people thinking about that, you got to kind of think about, well, what's, why are you in this game at all? Right? What's, why are you playing it? Why do you want to, what do you want out of it and why? It's, it's, and it's also having them see the danger of not doing this, right? Like what happened when, why a lot of people got nailed in COVID is they hadn't, we had a 10 year run, right? That was pretty good economically. And so anybody who started a business within that 10 years, they never got kicked in the teeth. And so they sort of thought this business thing isn't all that hard. And so they didn't necessarily scaffold around the four, four, you know, risks that were coming. And we couldn't anticipate COVID, but every 10 years, there's something, right? I've been through four downturns. There's always a downturn. Yeah. And if you're only focused on the I'm short sure term, you. yeah, if you're only focused on the short term, you're not going to build for the eventual downturn. One of my clients, just as a, a simple story, but she she was in an industry that was decimated by COVID, like in, you know, sort of related to the event space. Nobody was traveling and doing events anymore, right? But what she had done was done such an amazing job at building cash reserves and building the right systems and building the client relation management uh, exercises and building deep entrenched relationships with clients. What she did, she didn't lay off a single person she got her entire team focusing on how their business can modify to, to get to the client's needs. She spoke with the clients about what they were doing so they were loyal to her. She didn't lay off a single person. She's probably going to have the best or second best year of her company's history this year in a, in a time when her industry was decimated. And that's just because so when you, you, know, you say stories like that hopefully help people go, oh, maybe I shouldn't just be thinking about the next two or three months. I need to be thinking long term. Like here's just a very simple, I, I was uh, participated in a call about two weeks ago. And one of the potential outcomes coming is that there's there's some research that's suggesting there's gonna be a lot of people shifting jobs once we come on the other end of COVID. Mm-hmm. If you're not looking at that sure. now, you're gonna be in trouble. Because, so what you need to be doing now is thinking about how you're building your culture how you are ensuring that the people you have love the place they're working, how they're gonna talk to other people they know to bring them to you when you start to grow again. There's gonna be a massive competition for high top talent, you know, somewhere in the next year to two. And if you're not thinking about that now, you're gonna all of a sudden have an outflow of people and be scrambling in a time when you've got increased demand. So short-term thinking is something that's gonna bite you on the backside. Yeah, and that that actually leads into the next question. I don't know if you did that on purpose or not because you because you've seen the questions. But when when we talked a, a couple of weeks ago, you said something that was in, impactful to me. I thought it was a great quote. I'm going to attribute it to you. And I, if you took it from someone else, sorry. But in the face of an uncertain environment, don't tortoise, but instead plant. It's it's the same thing. You know, don't focus on short term results when you when you've got be looking at the bigger things.